Welcome back once again. <laughs> Today we're going to try out a new foundation. I got the um, Armani Luminous Silk. I've been hearing a lot of people talk about this and how wonderful it is, so I figured I would try it. I Some foundations work on me, some don't. Um, I got this in the color 3.75... Does it have a name too? No, I don't see. Some some of them name their foundation. This is just 3.75. That's it there. Cute little glass bottle. Nice little pump. Um, this claims to be a designer lift smoothing firming foundation. SPF 20. Second skin lifting foundation. The firming yet comfortable texture drapes the face with the ultra fine micro lifting matrix precious infused parisian blue pigments the formula recreates the natural glow of a youthful looking complexion application use um, designer brush to perfection so basically it claims to use a uh, you best use with a brush Light, luxurious, double silk cream works to lift and shape skin surface. Supreme comfortable UV protection with radiant silk satin finish. Application use spatula to exact small amount of product. Apply with the designer shaping brush. Well, we aren't going to use a designer shaping brush. We are going to use this guy here and then I like to finish it off with my little brush and I like to put just use the pump on my palette I'm gonna start out with a couple pumps here let's start with three pumps I say three usually I start out with two but uh, these ten these look a little small I've already primed my face I use the elf um, putty primer with um, the Too Faced hangover primer Ooh, that is pretty now, it didn't really tell you what kind of uh, coverage you're going to get with this. It looks like it's going to be kind of a medium coverage once I get it kind of built up. I am not looking for a super duper heavy coverage today. I wanted to do a lighter coverage. But this claims to be a skin-like finish, which that is what I'm looking for. I like my skin to just look like an even kind of skin tone and just kind of perfected. Um, I did just clean my brush, so I'm going to have to put, my brush ate those uh, three pumps up, so I'm just going to put out two more. That happens when you, um, there, let's just put a little bit of that down, and then I'll work it in. That kind of happens when you first clean your brush, especially if you use these more um, dense type brushes like this. This is actually looking very, very pretty. And I like how it's not sitting on the top of my skin. I have such a problem with foundation sitting on the top of my skin. I'm just trying to build it up a little bit right now, see if I can get a little more coverage. I don't want to go super crazy. It's raining outside today, pouring down rain and rain and foundation don't work very well for me. I am finding that I'm having to use a little more than usual of this to build up than I do with most foundations, but the pumps aren't super, you know, don't pump out a super lot, but um, it's looking good. Now, I have to really, really, if you notice, I keep blending and blending and blending. It is so hard because my skin is very dehydrated. And foundations, I don't know if you can see, but like right in here, foundations will sit on top of my skin so bad. You know, and it's some are worse than others. I love the La Mer foundation. I use it on almost all my brides. Um that I have a color for, to be honest. But I did get a, I got a kit that I can darken foundation, and I want to try it with that La Mer because I love using that, and the bride that I'm doing coming up, she's a little bit darker than I am, 
She's probably like a medium, more of a medium beige kind of tone. And, uh, my foundation would be way too light for her. My La Mer. I have two different colors in the La Mer and both would be too light. I have the two light shades. I actually got it for myself. I didn't intend to, um, use it on clients, but it's ended up that way. Now, yeah. um... The other thing is, if you guys haven't seen, oh God, Rich Lux just did a video talking to a very famous MUA. I just, I can't remember his name now. Oh my God. He does the, um, Outlaws and, uh, oh my God, I forgot. Anyway, he's a very famous MUA. He does, he has some of his own makeup out. Well, he has makeup uh, brush cleaners. He's got uh, candles out. He's got some other products. But he is amazing. He's worked with everybody from Pat McGrath to um, Danessa Myricks. Which, if you don't know who Danessa Myricks is and you have darker than medium skin, go right now, pause the video, and go look into her. Because her makeup is amazing. She does beautiful makeup for women of color. I mean, she does it for all colors, but her darker foundations were some of the first that ever I ever used, that I ever knew of that came out, you know, way before it was in style to, um, to have 60, you know, foundation colors or 30 foundation colors before all that was in she was doing it, you know, and that's what a lot of people don't realize, you know, the makeup industry has been around since the like twenties and even before that, but I mean the ma actual makeup industry making of the makeup has been around a lot longer, but, um, you know, people don't realize that a lot of the products that you know, they're looking for and asking for it. A lot of them have been out for a while. So, anywho, what brush am I going to use? Uh, I'm going to try. I need to get me a new powder brush or just give in and clean this one. I love this powder brush. This is, this is, believe it or not, this is a Morphe powder brush. And I really love it. And actually, I bought this new one. I haven't used it a whole lot, but I like how that one's more rounded, like an actual ball. This one is um, from Too Faced, or Too Faced, from <laughs> It Cosmetics. It's called the Love, Be uh, Love Beauty Fully brush. But see, it's not completely round, but it is nice and soft, and it's got that real dense. So I am going to, if you guys don't know, this is a dupe for the La Mer Pressed Powder. This is the um, Milani Prep Set Glow illuminating transparent powders and I get the number two I don't think it actually has a color I get the number two it has a little little bit of a color not like a whole lot but it, it does leave such let me see if I can kind of it leaves such see it leaves such life back there you go you see that like glow I mean it's not like it's a luminous glow it's not like it's not like shiny, glittery glow, but see how I'm setting the, I'm going to set this foundation with it and it's not going to, see, it's not taking away that luminosity to this foundation. And that's what I love about this powder, but I, this is a first impression. So, I mean, I can't tell you as for how long this will wear, maybe we'll do a wear test today. Would you like to do a wear test with it raining? <laughs> that might be interesting. I have a doctor's appointment and uh, I'll go to my appointment. I'll just do a kind of a short wear test because I'm having a test done and I'll tell you when I get home, I'm going to want to lay down. That's just how this test always goes when I have it done. So <sighs> I can't eat anything this morning. It, these tests that they do to me, some of them are absolutely insane, and 
I'm just not liking. Now, another product I've been liking, this is the Becca. It's kind of a blurring powder, but it's got a little, it's got a pink kind of sh tone to it in the container. But when you put it on your skin, see it just, it's got a little bit of a luminosity, but I think it looks gorgeous over that powder that I just did. So what I like to do is just bring this into my cheek area and kind of the corners of my head, kind of just a tiny bit. And I take it and I put a little bit of powder on it. Wait, let me pull out that's way too much. Get a little bit of powder on it. And then I take it and kind of tap it on the back of my hand. So there's light powder. And I just kind of bring that in. And it just gives, see, just a little glow and a little bit of blur to the skin. Now, I, would I suggest this on somebody with much darker than me no this does come in another color i think it comes in like a yellow um here it is it's this little container i love her containers so cute but um then i'll kind of buff it once i've got all the powder there's no product on the brush i'll kind of buff my powders in just to make sure they don't look real cakey see where i still have the luminosity it's kind of a more of a satiny kind of glow to my skin now. With it being raining, that's why I'm kind of making sure to really have this set down. Now, one of the things with these, they come with these really cool containers that you can store them in. The reason I like this, you can sit it down right on your table. And if you're like me, I have a big container where my brushes are back there, but I like to have certain brushes where I can find them easily. And if I set this right down next to me, I always know where it is. <laughs> but I will probably pick, pick up five different brushes. Oh, the brush um, thing that I've, I'm do, wanting to do. I'm still trying to get this in, you know, in the works. I really... You know, I, I wish my channel was big enough that I could hire an assistant because God knows I need one, you know. Kathy used to help me a lot, but she she got a job and she works so darn much that, and plus she lives like, what is it, like 45 minutes away from me, so it's kind of difficult. All right, this is the Invisible Bronzer from, um, from Bare Minerals, I like to take and kind of just scratch the top. It is such a hard bronzer that I just feel like I don't get anything from it unless I kind of scratch it up. See, it, it really gets like packed down. So I take it and just kind of take the end of my brush and just kind of rub it on there. Just pick up a little more. It's a very light bronzer. Oh, it's a very light bronzer. That's why they call them invisible bronzers. See how it adds, it adds color to my face without like going crazy. And this is great for pictures. This shows up, this shows up a lot more on camera than it does in person. For some reason, it's, I guess it's because it creates, see how it creates like the perfect shadows. You know, I always like to go back with, I'm just going to grab this. This is uh, Innovation Beauty. It's just a big powder brush. It has no product on it. But just to kind of buff that in. I love to buff my powders in just to really help them become part of the skin. I'm loving this foundation. What do you guys think? I'm really liking it. But... I'm going to finish my face and I'll be right back and we can see how it looks with everything. And I am back looking a little different, I hope. <laughs> I am really liking this foundation. It seems like it did um, kind of oxidize probably half a shade, but I blended that out. Um, I am wearing At Me from ColourPop and uh, Lip... lip uh, <laughs> lipstick, liquid lipstick, and Oh Snap Liquid Liner. 
I am wearing J Cat, which uh, don't snooze on this guy. This is a cheap blush. This is called Love Struck. They call it a blusher bronzer, and it has a cat on it, but that wears off. But this is like such a pretty, pretty, pretty blush. I mean, you see, I'm wearing it today, and it lasts. Um, Smashbox, uh, Cali Contour. And you guys saw me use a bronzer. Um, my lashes, I'm wearing um, Monsieur Big on the top. And MAC Extended Play in Gigalock on the bottom lashes. Little trick I learned from um, Mel Thompson. She is great. If you guys haven't seen her, quit sneezing on her. Go watch her. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't... Um, yet let me know go over to the video where i talk about the brushes and i'm also going to be posting a um car vlog rent and ride probably today uh later today or tomorrow i'll film it today but um that i'm talking about where i've got i've got almost everything in the works for the brush give give back it's not a giveaway <laughs> you know, we're not doing drawings. I'm actually going to pick people that I want to give them to. So it's not a drawing. So, I mean, it's not all about chance. It's not all about, well, if I didn't win, da, 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 da. The other thing is I'm not wearing any highlighter at all. That blush, I put it here and then I blend it up into here. And it just has this pretty... You can kind of see my lights kind of drown it out. You can see, well, you can see it on my nose because I always brush across my nose with it. That and also that's the foundation and the um, other. The other thing is this. Um, this is the Glow Recipe Ultra Fine Mist Watermelon Glow. This stuff is so good. It's twenty eight dollars for this little bottle, but I mean it's like it lasts forever. Trust me, because, I mean, it's a really fine mist. It will not mess up your makeup, but see how it helps to just... See how it helps to just put a healthy glow to your skin? That's been a lot of my glow lately, is this guy here. I'm actually going to order another one, because I don't want to run out, and God forbid they take it off. Anyway, also, my waterline, I have Smashbox, the Always Sharp liners in a Cabana. What do they call these? Waterproof coal crayon coal waterproof liner. God, they said waterproof twice. Anyway, that's it there in Cabana. Have a wonderful day, guys. I don't know if you heard the thunder out there, but we have a nasty storm, so I'm going to go brave it. Have a good day. Love you guys. Bye.